medals and trophies auction at McTeers. That takes place this Friday, which is the 13th of March. Unlucky for some, but hopefully not for us. Um, and it starts at three o'clock. Um, as you can see here, we have the collection of Stevie Chalmers of Celtic FC. That includes both his own Celtic jerseys as well as a lot of international jerseys and also um, jerseys from other clubs which Stevie swapped after various matches. Um, so you can see some of them here that have been kept in really good condition and most of them are still pretty vibrant, really bright. You can really get get a feel for the history of them just having a look at them here. This is one of the latest examples. It is one of the earliest Celtic away jerseys, also known as a change jersey at the time. Um, most of the ones in this style, which you can see, um, had the green collar. This one here quite rare in that it does have the white collar. Um, it's that wee bit more unusual. There's not a great record of, of them being worn, but we have we have seen photographs of them. Um, and there has been huge interest in this jersey, both from around Scotland and overseas. Um, bidding on, on that has been, has began already, shall we say. Um, but you've also got, as well as the more unusual three leaf clover, you've got the hoops here. Um, and they're just iconic, really. So, um, a great collection, um, and we can't wait to see how it gets on. What we have here is not only a single European Cup medal uh, from the first British side to win the European Cup, uh, but also the complete medals from, from that season, um, which, as I say, ended uh, with the European Cup, uh, Stevie Chalmers scoring that winning goal. It's lot 1888, no coincidence, of course. Uh, one of 32 lots will be presenting at McTeers as part of the uh, Stevie Chalmers collection, which includes shirts from his time as Celtic, uh, his time playing with Scotland, uh, swap jerseys as well, an iconic Pele jersey. Um, this lot in particular is, is far and away uh, uh, the most uh, uh, special lot within the cell. Um, as I say, it is the first time that uh, all of those medals have come to sell. Um, and not everyone who played in the 66, 67 season would have received all these medals. Uh, for instance, the European Cup. Um, there was only uh, the 12 man squad who flew over to Lisbon. Um, and indeed, uh, John Fallon uh, uh, had his medal taken away when he came back, uh, was le later to receive a replacement and then actually got his original medal back. But as well as things such as the Glasgow Cup, um, you, you'll be familiar with the three domestic titles. The Glasgow Cup's a wee bit more of a rarity. Um, it's still contested to this day, uh, but you had to play in all three fixtures to win to win that medal there. Finally, of course, the uh, the most iconic medal, and as I say, um, the one that really completes a lot with Chalmers himself scoring that winning goal in the 83rd minute in what was a 2-1 victory against Inter Milan in the heat of Lisbon. Um, and that is the 1966-67 uh, uh, European Cup medal there. Beautiful medal. And whilst we have uh, those five, we've also got to uh, top it off um, this medal here. And as I was saying before earlier, you know, not every uh, uh, player would have received all five medals because, as I say, you had to compete in all games in the Glasgow Cup to receive one of those. Um, and it was only the, the, the 11 players who played in Lisbon who received the, um, the European Cup medal. Uh, and this was a commemorative medal to cap off all those achievements, um, which is quite a beautiful wee thing as well.